Chair calls Tracy Thompson. Chairman, committee members, thank you very much for letting me talk today. My name is Tracy Thompson. I'm here representing myself, and I am in favor of House Bill 810. I know we've had a huge dose of it today, but I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1999. Um, I have been the recipient of five adult stem cell treatments. I hear a lot of talk today about safety and protecting patients. Um, we have, we're a really informed group. Um, I found myself in a position where I tried, as soon as I got diagnosed, I didn't, I didn't know what MS was. I was like, can you give me a book? I mean, <laughs> what is this that I'm dealing with? So uh, once we figured it out, obviously I went to my neurologist, I was under their care, tried all of the disease modifying drugs, which the drugs can average about $70,000 a year. All of them are black label drugs, which means, you know, risk of PML, brain infection. Um, liver failure. So you get on these drugs that the efficacy rates on are at about 30%. So you're you're taking a pretty toxic drug that probably realistically has a 70% chance it's not doing something for you. Um, in my case, I couldn't tolerate any of the drugs. I tried them. I had the adverse reactions. So I found myself, my mobility was there. I had a chronic incurable disease, but I had no medications to take. So I understood at that point what it was like to be a no-option patient. You have a brutal disease, no cure. I have two teenage kids. I'm trying to, single mom, trying to sustain the quality of life, and you have a disease that you're told, sorry, you can't do anything about. So I started getting into the stem cell treatments. I was very fortunate to get that in the beginning. I think it, it took my disease from a level where when I first started, lost my vision for an amount of time, lost my right leg, had to be retrained to walk. Um, I'm sure as you guys can tell that MS has many faces. You see people looking many different ways. So in my case, it was all invisible symptoms, heavy fatigue, um, heat intolerance. In the summer in Texas, you know how it gets. I you know, couldn't go to the pool with my kids, couldn't be outside. Stem cell treatments to me have saved my life. They have intervened. They've kept me. I have my mobility. Um, it's been an amazing blessing to me, which I devote my time to trying to help other patients. We are an informed community. We help each other. Um, we have a lot of research on it. So when they, there's a lot of talk of people being taken advantage of or it's a last hope and you don't know. It, that's really not the case. We do a lot of research. We don't take it lightly. There's a ton of research on adult stem cell therapy. Dr. Arnold Kaplan has stated there's probably over 30,000 patients that have been treated without adverse reactions. So. Um, as a person with a chronic disease, as no options, not one FDA-approved drug to take, I just urge you to support this bill. Um, again, give us a hope and for some quality of life to sustain that. And I appreciate you taking time to hear my testimony today. Thank you. Thank you, members. Any questions? Thank you for Thank your testimony. You.